Now, the United Nations Human Rights Chief has revealed that Muslim Rohingya continue to flee Myanmar's Rakhine state. UNHR Chief Zaid Rad Al Hussein said that many Muslim Rohingyas testified about violence, persecution, killings, and burning of their homes in Myanmar as well. Hussein told the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva that so far this year, 11,432 Muslim Rohingyas have arrived in Bangladesh whereas more than 700,000 have fled since an August 2017 military crackdown in Myanmar's northern Rakhine state. Many Rohingya refugees also report being pressured by Myanmar authorities to accept a national verification card that says they need to apply for citizenship. In reality, however, the NVCs mark the Rohingya as non-citizens in keeping with the government's characterization of them as foreigners in their own homeland. Many refugees interviewed by my staff have said unbearable pressure was placed on them to accept the NVCs. However, Myanmar's foreign ministry has said that it is their top priority to find a sustainable solution and that the UN report is exaggerated. Sustainable solution on the issue of Yakai is one of the top priorities of our government. When the situation in northern Yakai has been the focus of much international attention, the narrative related to it has very sadly been incomplete and misleading, and verified allegations had been reported as facts, resulting in perceptions that aggravated the whole situation. <laughs>